Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We need to get into some crazy info here in this video. The street says there's literally multiple reasons why AMC stock is about to go through a short squeeze. What's interesting about this is AMC stock is actually down 10.5% today on really no specific news, which makes me think maybe there is some news, but we'll check it out. We'll talk about it here in this video. We're going to go over everything happening with AMC stock today, all of the data you need to know. It looks like Ortex updated things, so it's a little bit different, so uh, bear with us, but we will get you all of that information. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. So uh, first things first, let's talk about what's going on with AMC stock today and really not a whole lot. Okay. Um, AMC's price target was lowered to $1.55. We've kind of went over that before. Um, and that was... Uh, oh, actually, let me see real quick. Yeah, that was actually uh, the last trading that we had from Jason Bazinet. Uh, yeah, and, and we covered that in a video. But other than that, there's really no news that is actually happening today. You could boil this down to a lot of manipulation. You could boil this down to, you know, some of those options last week, like that $4 put that expired out the money, which is should be good for AMC. The $4 call that expired in the money last week, which should have been good for AMC. Well, when there's a lot of good things going for AMC, it seems like a lot of hedge funds, institutions don't like that. So they try to um, kill the momentum. They try to really make you fearful. That's what ultimately they try to do. If we take a look at the option activity today, you have a positive order value of 17%. Not very great. And some of the orders coming through are, you know, again, massive orders. And this is this is just laughable at this point. Because you almost know what's happening, right? They're coming out, they're buying a lot of options, they're shorting the stock, but the options are also a form of synthetic shorts that does not get enough attention because it's solely the market makers going out and shorting stock when that does have a big impact on AMC stock on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, they're continuing to short AMC, which means that you're actually more squeezable every single day the stock keeps falling. And I'm excited to go over this article with you guys, but let's give you a rundown of some of the numbers that we're seeing on the day-to-day -day, um, for AMC. So cost to borrow fees, Sky high cost of our average 1020%, cost of our minimum 500 uh, or 956 and a half percent, um, cost of our max 1050 percent. It looks like you're seeing uh, borrow shares of 64,000, return shares of 154,000 here today, and this is probably the data that we are seeing for Friday. Um, considering Friday was a, a green day and a relative outperforming day. Um, for AMC stock, so that would make some sense. Cost of borrow fees currently, uh, it looks like uh, about 900% over on interactive brokers. So some crazy high numbers that we're seeing over here. We take a look, 27.95% short interest of free float, $590.31 million that is currently sold short, 4.83 days to cover, 144.33 million shares that are currently uh, sold short and 205 million shares out on loan. That's a crazy uh, difference here. You have what almost 60 million shares difference that is out on loan that is not sold short yet. So you could see more shorting pressure, or or you could ultimately see um, just the short interest actually catch up because I think there's a lot more short shorting that has happened um, that Ortex maybe has not picked up yet. So once the official report does come out, then we will get a better picture. Cost of borrow fees trailing three month average is up 303% over the past three months, sitting at 317.55%. And utilization 
is at 90.4%. This is up from what we've seen last week at about 84%. And the short score is at 91.65 out of 100. This is actually still up about 3% within the last three months or so. So you're looking very squeezable here uh, currently. And if you look at the FTD numbers, we have not gotten any new updates as far as you know the next following weeks. But if we take a look at today, you have 10 million shares that currently need to be bought back today as far as the FTDs. Now, tomorrow, you're going to have 12 million. The day after that, you're going to have 11 million. The day after that, you're going to have 12 million. And the day after that, which is going to be Friday, you're going to have 12.1 million. So the FTDs are not going away anytime soon. It does not look like they are in a big rush to cover on any of these positions. And that is well, to our benefit. Now, this Thursday, we're going to be getting the reverse split. As long as the Supreme Court does not block this again or prevent this. And basically, the argument that you guys need to know is AMC has to pay out the settlement to AMC common shareholders and in theory, ape holders as well because it's the same company the same stock that's the argument being made and that does make a lot of sense so we'll see if the courts do ultimately delay this based off this 10 percent move we are seeing down today it does not look like it's going to be um delayed but that is certainly a possibility nonetheless so so do do keep that in mind um that that could be news that does break at literally any time and if we take a look at this article this is um Beautiful article from the street it says AMC stock. Here's why short squeeze is now likely renewed demand to short AMC, which comes at the end of the drama involving the ape uh, shares may trigger fresh short squeezes. The uncertainty surrounding the ape or surrounding the AMC's conversion of ape units into common shares has ended after news of the plan's approval was released. AMC shares plummeted 35%. Short interest for AMC stock with, sur with shorting demand exacerbated by the short side of the ape arbitrage trade. Despite a bearish outlook due to dilution, AMC saw a 20% rebound in its stock price after an initial 35% plunge. That rebound was likely driven by retail traders buying the dip and attempting to put pressure on short sellers. So again, this street confirming as well that it does not look like its shorts have actually covered in any kind of way. Now it says AMC ripped apart by bears. After Delaware <clears throat> Vice Chancellor Morgan Zern accepted a revised version of AMC Entertainment's stock conversion plan, the drama surrounding preferred equity ape unit seems to have come to an end. AMC now has the green light to proceed with the conversion of ape shares to AMC shares and to execute its plan reverse stock split. Nearly 1 billion outstanding ape shares will join 519.19 million AMC common shares, pushing AMC's total share count to approximately 1.51 1 .1 billion. In other words, current shares will be diluted by about 90%. On the other hand, AMC is expected to raise a sizable amount of cash, probably billions of dollars, which will be a great relief for the company's uh, pressured liquidity and balance sheet. Still, the prospects of significant dilution for AMC stock was not looked upon kindly by investors. AMC shares sank 35% in the wake of the settlement news. Cost to borrow is exploding. Did the bears get a little too bloodthirsty? AMC common shares were already caught on the short side of the arbitrage trade with apes and news of the settlement only exacerbated shorting further. AMC's float held short reached nearly 30% and borrowing fees shot past 900% as the availability of shares evaporated in the face of monstrous borrowing demand. But bears may have overextended themselves. Since the August 14th trading session when AMC shares plunged 35%, the stock has seen a 20% rebound. Traders are eagerly buying the dip and ramping up pressure on short sellers. AMC shares recrossed the $4 level on Friday, August 18th. Short squeeze setup. AMC will work to execute both its ape conversion and its reverse stock split over the next few days. Although the threat of significant share dilution is obviously bearish, the upshot of AMC share price is still hard to guess. With borrowing fees closing in on 1,000%, any upward trend in AMC's price could spell disaster for bears. Given the tremendous short pressure on AMC and the tremendous attention to the stock, the stock is receiving from retail investors. 
high volatility and high trading volume are to be expected. Placing a short bet on AMC may seem perfectly logical given the upcoming ape conversion, but shorts have been burned many times betting against this retail favorite. And that's that's exactly it, right? So let me break this down a little bit a little bit further because we've talked about this and I think everyone really needs to hear it. This is pricing in a lot of dilution. If we don't get dilution right away, then I think there is that big upside move because I think you're going to get people that pay attention to AMC again for the first time in a long time once you do get the reverse split, once you do get this, this stock actually at $40 per share because you can, okay, it if AMC were to double, right, at $4, AMC were to double, go to $8. Okay, that's 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 great. Awesome. Now, if AMC were to double when it's at $40, you're going to go to $80. You can make more off of the options with a higher share price. If you get an outsized move, that's that's kind of like playing puts on AMC that well that doesn't make sense it can only drop four dollars you can only make four hundred dollars on every put if you're spending you know a bunch of money it just doesn't make sense that's why these trades don't make any sense when I look at them the institutional and hedge fund put trades now if you're playing something like a Tesla or something like a Chipotle that has a two hundred dollar share price three hundred dollar share price to a thousand dollar fifteen hundred dollar share price well if you get a big outsized move to the downside or even the upside, you can make more on those options because there's more dollars, there's more potential money to be made. So I think that kind of uh, makes the appealability to trade AMC a little bit higher, believe that or not, with the share price actually being higher, and it will allow the stock to move around a lot more. Now, we know one thing and one thing only. Short sellers, they need to cover. With these cost of borrow fees over 1,000%, that means they're paying almost 3% every single day to be short AMC. So the average days out on loan is about four and a half months. <laughs> so uh, they are severely underwater on their positions. These 10% drops uh, don't even matter in the grand scope of things. They're still losing on these positions. So that is a obvious big problem for hedge funds and institutions. So that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. I think there's this Weird dynamic happening in the markets as well. Some of your small and mid-cap stocks are actually doing okay, but not great. And some of your very big-cap stocks, like Tesla, is up 6% on the day. You're seeing a very weird start to the trading day today. And I think markets are all eyes on NVIDIA and how that's going to affect the markets and how people are going to rotate their money into different things. Um, I don't have a solid finger on on what's happening today it does look like just another big shorting attack from hedge funds and institutions that's what i would personally guess so that is going to do it for this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel and source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next one